I finally had the opportunity to try the new X-Real Air 2 Pro and I'm gonna say I'm impressed why they don't look much different from their predecessor at the first sight, it's under the hood that we find some big surprises. As here we have a new directional audio and two new generation micro OLED displays from Sony and because this is the Pro, the extra cool new electrochromic dimming lenses. But most of all what it became for me, the must have accessory for this kind of glasses, the beam. Hey there here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, these are the X-Real Air 2 Pro AR Smart Viewer glasses, able to protect a giant OLED screen in front of you all the time, watch movies, playing games and even substitute your monitors. So well, let's get into it. But let's start with the box of course, open it up we're gonna find the glasses case, which I hope is gonna have the glasses inside and just standard there the new air cushion nose pads to have minimal pressure on the nose even during long wear and a prescription lenses guide with also as always a manual and a nice soft cleaning cloth nice but let's open it up shall we in there we're gonna find the glasses in their glory this time only 75 grams with a braided usb type c cable with them to connect them to our devices get into the glasses they come with a blinding clip attached covering the actual new lenses and the screens if you want some blacked out action. The glasses have the usual volume rocker and this time the electrochromatic lenses dimming button and the two integrated speakers. Also the rigs are movable as always around 10 degrees to adapt to different faces. This time they're also made of silicon material so they're soft and snug without pinching the head. They also added a new heat optimization so the heating element is located on the left temple away from the skin, providing minimal heat sensation while using them. And about weight balance is a one to one ratio on both hands and that means that we're gonna feel less pressure on the nose. But let's put that on the side a second because it's my first time with the beam and this should be a new awesome way to use our glasses and it will work as a bridge to have the screen not just following you all the time but also anchored to the space like an actual TV in 3D OF being also an integrated multimedia device so you don't even need your phone if you don't want to use it. It comes with an additional cable that really feels like being back to the iPod without the headphones but with the glasses this time. Progress. Anyway let's connect everything and let's get in there. Because what are these? These are AR smart viewer glasses able to project a big screen in front of you all the time thanks to these two display reflected directly to your eyes. These have two new generation micro OLED displays from Sony with the resolution 1920 by 1080 each eye running up to 120 hertz with a declared whopping 49 ppd pixels per degree at 100,000 by 1 contrast ratio, all of that at 500 nits, 25% brighter than its predecessor. I know that 1080p doesn't sound like much, but this is happening at the FOV of around 46 degrees. And as with all the VR headsets, we don't actually have to consider the resolution directly, but the pixels per degree, so how many pixels there are in any degree of your visual, the higher the better. So yeah, you're not gonna have any screen door effect in there. Everything will be pretty clear. And for watching movies, it's just great. The screens are very bright, the colors are very vivid thanks to the OLED technology of course. And do you remember the thing that you could see through them a bit in very bright environments because of course the screens are never gonna be bright enough to overcome the like the real light. Well, say no more because with these new electrochromatic dimming lenses, I can just click here and everything will get darker in an instant. <laughs> this is awesome. This is the same tech as some fancy car mirrors, where there's a child captive between the two electrically conductive coated lenses. And when you apply voltage, so electricity, bam, it changes instantly. By the way, there are three different levels here, in conjunction with the fact that if you cramp up the brightness quite a lot, you can pretty much go from regular glasses to sunglasses with a click and almost completely blocked out with another click. So this doesn't have the right to be this exciting for me. It's just awesome to, to switch in between all the time. <laughs> I'm a simple man. 
Oh, by the way, this thing is reserved to the pro version of the glasses because the X-Real Air tube, they're not gonna have it. So yeah, just be aware of it. But how do they work? Well, the cool thing about these devices is they're compatible with pretty much every device out of the box with the display out connection. Steam Deck, PC, phones, and with the optional beam also with iPhones, Xbox, PlayStation 5, well, anything that you can connect directly to this USB port. Connecting it directly to your devices will work in two different ways. The first one is mirror mode, so you don't need any app for it, and the screen is gonna be stuck in front of your face all the time. So if you turn around, the screen is gonna turn with you. This is the one with the widest compatibility. And if you fancy and you have an Android device, there is Nebula. That is their kind of AR operating system. And when installed, it will automatically open every time that you connect the glasses to your phone. This has as many AR apps, functionalities, browser, etc., etc. The cool thing is that it's all 3D OF. So you will use the gyroscope on the glasses and you can actually fix the apps in there in space and look around with the screen staying in the same spot. This is great to don't get sick and actually always feels more natural. I already covered Nebula in my previous video about the X-Real Air. So yeah, if you're interested, check it out for sure. But the problem with Nebula is that for a limitation from Google, you weren't actually able to use your apps on your phone in this 3D OF environment. You actually had to have app that were already inside Nebula. Apparently they found a solution to this though. So let's wait for an update. And to fix that, X-Real made the beam and this changes things for me because you're gonna be able to connect any device in the second USB port of it and have the choice to actually display your display as you want. There are three modes, body anchor, where the screen is gonna be in a 3 df situation where you can change the distance as the side of it freely. And that is my favorite one for sure. Then there is mood follow, so the screen will follow the movement of your head, much smoothed in out, so no weird vibration. As a result, it's much harder to make you sick and as a third option, the side view. They feel a bit like an HUD in the corner of a view. You can uh, choose the corner, of course, and still be aware of all your external surrounding. You know, the real stuff. To be honest, this feels like a small thing, but I can't see myself using this kind of glasses anymore without something like this. I mean, pair it with a Samsung phone and with DeX, it's gonna feel like you're actually working with a laptop with a monitor just in front of you. Pair it with a Steam Deck, it will feel just like playing a console on your TV of the size that you want. By the way, on a nice solid TV. I wish they would actually make a Steam Deck without the screen because it's actually very cool to play that way. I'm playing Pillars of Eternity lately and on the screen it, it, it's kind of difficult because the text is very small. Instead, I can put a very big monitor in front of me and feel like I'm playing like, uh, you know, on my computer on not a big TV. That is quite better. By the way, another cool thing about the Beam is that it has a battery inside. And so when connected with your devices, it's gonna power up the glasses by itself without using the power of your phone or your Steam Deck. So, so yeah, not that battery on the phone anymore to actually power up the glasses with the two additional displays. And it's not done yet. I told you that this was awesome. If you don't want to use your devices, you just disconnect it. And this is gonna become a multimedia device for your glasses directly running on a version of Android. So you can even install IPKs on it. I installed Game Pass, for example, it works well. So yeah, there are some multimedia apps or you can open 2D apps in there. And the Beam itself, it will work like a 3D mouse, a laser pointer. Talking about specs, I'm not sure about the processor, but it has four gigabytes of RAM and a RAM of 32 gigabytes with an integrated battery of 4,870 million per hour for a battery life of around 3.5 hours fast charging at 27 watts. My main use lately is just to put the beam in the pocket and uh, watch a movie while doing other stuff. I think that I couldn't do with a phone because for another limitation of Google, well, you had to keep your screen on your phone all the time to use the glasses. Instead with the beam, there's no screen. You just slide it in your pocket and uh, you enjoy the show. But hey, what do I think about them? Well, I think that x really shines when it comes to the software department compared to all the other 
glasses manufacturer. Everything feels cleaner and more usable and it's just a treat to actually play with them. They look good, a bit ribbonish, uh, but yeah, on the side they're still a bit weird, but I don't expect to go around town with them. They're for sure a big improvement from the first generation. Jumping back and forth from one to the other really shows the difference. Would I suggest jumping from the first generation to the second? Well, probably not. I will probably just invest in the beam, but if it's your first time considering this kind of glasses, I will for sure go for the x Air 2. About the Pro with electrochromatic dimming lenses, are they worth $50 more from $399 to $449? For me, yes, but you know, I'm a sucker for all this new technology stuff. What I really suggest though, is the beam. This thing is awesome. It changes things, it changes the way you use it. It just feels like I have a standalone thing in here. Just a little thing before we go, I'm actually leaving for Florida for a week to visit family. Uh, probably when you're gonna watch this video, I'm gonna be there. And I had to decide between bringing the Vision Pro or the Xtreal Hair and I didn't think twice. I actually brought this because while the Vision Pro is super awesome with so many functionalities and everything pretty much. Well, these are just so portable and just to watch movies on the plane or just relax a bit, these are absolutely perfect. And the visuals are top notch. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about them in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like this, just like, subscribe to the channel for more of your tech. If you really love the channel, the join button on there. Don't further also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon. So join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Let's actuate these things. Oh, I disconnected them. <laughs> no. Ciao.